Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Madonna from Desperately Seeking Susan. I'll be doing the face up as well as a little bit of the costume at the end. Make sure to stay tuned to the very end to see the final photos. So I was going through my stash to, to find the best doll that would work for the face up I'm looking for with uh, something close to Madonna's features and I ended up with Viperine. In here I'm removing her hair by trimming it down as low as possible and removing it with a screwdriver and a hemostat. If you're interested in learning more about rerouting a doll, I have some great news. I just launched my very first Skillshare class and it's on how to reroute a doll. And I go through some tips and tricks and um, all of the tools that you need and options for different types of yarn. So if you sign up in the link below, there's a link to my class and the first two months is free with no obligation to uh, remain with the service. But I have been using Skillshare for the past couple of months myself and I have been loving it. I really feel like I'm leveling up on my craft because of all the classes that I've been taking on things like color theory and uh, watercolor painting and, and things like that. There's just about anything creative is on that site. So I highly recommend that if you do join that you take advantage of those two free months while you have it to check out all of the interesting fun crafty artsy classes that they have including mine so make sure to check out that link below if you're interested and if you do follow me so you can see what classes I have coming up next so for Viperine's face sculpt it was a little bit different than I wanted it to be uh, none of the dolls really matched Madonna's features which is pretty common when I'm doing a face up of a celebrity so I decided for this one I was going to alter it a little bit by doing a little bit of carving and some sanding so I used some carving tools and took down the lip a little bit and also the uh, bridge of the nose was kind of sharp um, so I wanted to sand that down a little bit. So I used the nail file and a little bit of high grit sandpaper. And I decided to root her with some blonde, like a mix of blonde and ivory. So she has some highlights. So I'm tying that up so we can get on with the face up. For this one I'm starting out with Derwent White Watercolor Pencil for the base of the eye. And then I'm using a Faber Castell Art Grip to do some initial sketching for the shape of the eye around the white. If you're a supporter over on Patreon, I have a video on how I do the detail of the tear duct and the waterline as one of the monthly reward, rewards and the rewards library. So I'm using a bit of this like burnt sienna for some shading around her nose to give her more of a a softer shaped nose. And I'm mixing it with a little bit of white and a little bit of peach just to make it not so harsh. And I'm shaping her lips with some red pan pastel.
So I'm blending some of the burnt sienna with white to do some shading in the cheekbones. And this is probably the second or third layer after giving her some more sealant to protect the work that I'd already done. So I'm going back and darkening up those cheekbones and some of the other areas in shading. So now I'm using some of this brown pastel uh, pan pastel is the are the pastels that I'm using and I'm doing her eyebrows So Madonna has kind of one of her features is her kind of gap in the middle of her teeth. So I wanted to add a little bit of that. It's so there's just a hint at some angles you can see it more than others. I just added like a touch of where you could see her teeth. And then she also back in the 80s had some larger uh, dominant eyebrows. And so I made them a little bit larger than I normally would and a little bit darker. One of her other main features is her bottom lip is more, is sort of like, her lips are sort of like heart shaped. So I was trying to achieve that uh, little bit of a angle at the bottom lip to kind of portray that characteristic. So once I have, I usually leave the, the drawing of the iris and pupil to last for some reason until I have just about the whole face done and that's usually the last thing that I do and so Madonna has like greenish blue eyes and I'm using some like turquoise and blue colors to achieve that
From here, I added some uh, gloss to the eyes and lips and gave her some eyelashes. So for her hair, I thinned up her hair a little bit with some um, thinning shears and brushed it all out, gave her a trim that was kind of a, an 80s style trim and then curled it with a chopstick and uh, a flat iron. Just gave her a bunch of curls and some bangs and her hair is a pretty messy style and then I added a, some tool to give her the bow on the top of her head. For her her pants, I just used some black cotton fabric using one of my patterns. The, pa the pattern for these pants is in my uh, Patreon reward. So if you're a supporter over on Patreon in the reward library patterns, it's the girl pants. So for her jacket, I started out using this sort of glittery fabric and it kind of went well with the, the look of the jacket. And then after I finished this jacket, it looked very bulky and didn't look good to scale with the doll. So I changed up, but I'm still showing it because I wanted to kind of show you the general way that I make the, the coat. I start with the vest. And so that's the same thing that I did. I just used a, a different kind of vinyl and then added some glitter with a uh, fabric mod, po mod podge for fabric to the jacket. And then I gave her her, uh, her patch on the back. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.